good evening I just wanted I just realized I never gave you guys an update um, on uh, DNA my dog and I wanted to give you a quick update we did get the results back and they are not what you expect um, I'm gonna link a I'm gonna send right after this a picture of Coco and um, I will put it right here and um, this is what she looks like um, she is we thought um, she was a poodle terrier mix. That's what she looked like to us. Um, and we would get her haircut every three, four months since we've had her. So she has gotten, oh, and there she is speaking of Coco. Um, she has been, um, just constantly getting her haircuts because her hair is super long and curly and it just is like it's a really um it's not soft but we pretty much buzz her hair like super short and then then her then she's nice and soft because they they do like moisturize it and stuff like that but um anyway so um oh, and there she is there is coco <laughs> um anyway her results came in and now tell me, you have to tell me in the comments below if um, you've ever tried the DNA My Dog and what your results were and if they were what you thought or if they were like completely like blew your mind. Anyway, you saw a picture of Coco and her main breed, there's, she has two main breeds and two secondary or, you know, first secondary and then two smaller breeds. And um, her main breed was Australian Shepherd. We were not expecting that. Um, we thought nothing of that. <laughs> she doesn't. She did not look like that at all to us. And um, the second breed, um, I don't think you guys would believe me if I told you, but her second breed is Bulldog. Does she look like a Bulldog? Does she look like a Bulldog at all to you? Let me show you, she's actually right here. Let me just bring this down. Does this look like a bulldog to you? Does this look like an Australian Shepherd to you? Here's our pretty little girl. Such a pretty girl. Yep, she's such a good girl. It's such a happy girl too. So this is what her hair looks like before we get it cut. But she's actually due for a cut. She's getting one tomorrow actually. Um, she definitely needs a cut really badly right now. Um, so, but it's really long, really curly. Here, I'll go closer to here. See, there she is. And then, and then her face, I'll get closer there. It, we thought she was part terrier because if you look at the, the her hair on her face, it's really kind of that terrier, like Scottish terrier type um, look right there. And you can tell she's an old girl because it's all white. Where it was, where it was white, where it was white, it used to be brown. And that's where she got the name Coco is um, we thought when we first saw her, we just saw her face and we thought she had brown. So that's why we named her Coco. We just decided not to change it once we saw her whole self. Um, so we just saw the photo and that was where it's like, oh, they call her Coco. And then we saw her and then in person and yeah, she was not brown. So anyway, um, so those are her main two breeds, Australian Shepherd and Bulldog. <laughs> And there's not even a hint of a brindle in her. So I was like a shock. And her third breed, which kind of goes along with the Australian Shepherd that they that she has is Australian Cattle Dog. So um, that's a very, very high energy breed. They do a lot of herding. Um, both the Australian Shepherd and the cattle and the cattle dog are herding dogs. And I could see that where she likes to herd the kids. So I can actually see that in her behavior. Not necessarily her looks, but her behavior. And the last dog is Beagle. So Beagle and Australian Kettle Dog have about the same percentage 
and uh, kind of like a secondary percentage. And then a shepherd, Australian shepherd and bulldog have the main percentage. But I don't see, um, I see a lot of, I can see a lot of the behaviors with the breed, but not in the looks. So that's, I think, why we were mostly astounded because behavior, she does like to chase birds. She loves to catch birds. She loves to eat birds. She loves to chase mice. She loves to catch mice and eat them. So any rodent or bird or anything that's around our house, in our yard, in our house, she will catch, she will eat. So that is where I could see the different, um, like the beagle, because beagles are hunting dogs and they're bird dogs. So I could see that. Um, but in looks, she doesn't looks nothing like any of those breeds. Um, because, well, Australian Shepherds are bigger, a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit bigger than her. Um, bulldogs are nothing like a bulldog. I would never have guessed bulldog. Um, cattle dog, she's about the size of a cattle dog. Um, so I could see that. Her snout, though, isn't as pointy as a cattle dog, I would think. Um, her ears, though, I could see her, her ears, her ears, um, were, are kind of like the Shepherd. Um, but yeah, she's definitely a lot smaller. So anyway, there you have it. It was a shock to us. Let us know in the comments below what you, if your experience with my DNA, with the DNA my dog. Um, if you haven't gotten it, try it. It's not sponsored, but, um, it would be cool to see anybody else doing, uh, a DNA my dog and, um, their results and if they were what they expected. So Anyway, there you have it. 